All right, so here in this video, I'll be showing you how you can go about uncapping the frame rates in Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Now, this also works for anyone that has downgraded to the Special Edition pre-AE. You'll just have to ensure that you have the correct version of SKSE64 for whatever version you're running. If you're on the Anniversary Edition update, use the AE build, and if you're on the downgraded Special Edition, use the SE build. I have a tutorial on both on my channel. Now, to begin, you want to go to the Nexus link down in the description below. That will bring you to the SSE Display Tweaks by Slavic Potato, which was just updated earlier today to support the AE build of SKSC64. Once you're on this page, you'll want to go ahead and scroll down, click on the Files tab, and here you'll see SSE Display Tweaks version 0.5.0b. In order to download it, you'll want to click the Mod Manager download to download with your Mod Manager of choice, whether that be Mod Organizer 2 or Vortex. So once you click Mod Manager download, it will then let you know that your file will be served via your Mod Manager, letting you know the mod requirements. You'll see that the address library for SKSE plugins and SKSE are listed here. The address library is only currently required for the Special Edition of Skyrim, so if you're using the Anniversary Edition, you do not need the address library. That said, SKSE64 is indeed required. So go ahead and click Click the download button and now it will begin downloading on your mod manager of choice. So if we go ahead and open up Mod Organizer 2, we can see that SSE Display Tweaks has now been downloaded. We can install it by simply double clicking, clicking on manual just to check that the data file is valid. I suggest doing this whenever you're installing a mod with Mod Organizer 2. It should let you know that the content of data looks valid and you can click OK. Once it has been installed, go ahead and enable it. By default, it will do everything that you'll likely want it to do. That being allowing the game to run up to your monitor's refresh rate. So in my case, that would be 160 hertz. So I'll be able to get 160 FPS. It will fix the physics issues and it will do numerous bug fixes. However, there are a lot of options you can configure in it. And in order to do so in Mod Organizer 2, all you have to do is double click on the mod and go to the INI Files tab and here you will see the SKSE plugins SSE display tweaks.ini. And within there will be a ton of options to configure to your liking. But as I said earlier, SSE display tweaks by default will allow you to run up to your monitor's max refresh rate, going all the way up to 240 hertz. So most people will not need to edit the configuration file. For now, let's go ahead and launch the game and see how it works. So we can do so by running the game with SKSE 64. And when we're on the main menu, you will see that I'm now getting 160 FPS, which matches my 160 Hertz monitor. If your FPS on the main menu is matching your monitor's refresh rate, that lets you know that the mod is working. So if we go ahead and start loading a save, you'll see that in the load screen, we are getting 60 FPS. The reason for that is it actually loads the game faster and ensures you don't get the infinite load screen bug. And as soon as you get in game, it will once again uncap the frame rate. However, since this ENB is tanking my performance, I'm not getting above 60 FPS. But if I go ahead and disable my ENB, you can see that I am now getting over 60 FPS. I'm getting 112 to be exact. And as you can see, when I push things around, it moves as it's supposed to in vanilla Skyrim. It's not gonna send these items flying. It's not gonna kill me. Physics are working as intended. Anyways, that is how you go about uncapping your frame rates, as well as fixing the physics issues and such in Skyrim Anniversary Edition and the Special Edition. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe during the good fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super, greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.